Great. Uh, thanks, uh, everyone, for joining us today. Um, uh, we obviously have a, had a lot of interest in today's webinar, so I'm hoping it will be really helpful for everyone. Uh, we're also trying out some new webinar software, so please bear with us uh, as we just get through some kinks. Uh, this webinar should run for about 30 minutes, uh, but may run slightly over because we have quite a few content, uh, bits of content to, to cover. Uh, we'll be sharing the slides at the end of the webinar as well. Um, we're just going to run a quick poll uh, in, the, in the chat window. If you can just let us know how often do you currently publish posts uh, to Google My Business listings? Uh, is it once a day? Is it once a week? Is it once a month? Or have you never, never tried it? Um, I'll give you a couple of minutes just to kind of uh, complete that poll. Okay, so from um, what I can see, it seems that most people have never tried Google My Business uh, or posting to Google, Google My Business. So it's fairly new to a lot of you. Um, so I'm going to cover quite a bit of content today. It gives you some background, uh, just, for, just about where it, where it comes from, why it's useful, and what you guys can do with it. Um, so around 61% of, of you uh, have never tried it, so it's very interesting. <laughs> um, so just some housekeeping. As this webinar is recorded, it will be sent by email, as I said earlier. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please use the chat box at any time uh, during the webinar. Uh, we have Rachel from our customer success team on standby. Uh, she'll be able to answer any questions you have about Google My Business or about Sendable or anything else related to social media. Um, so she's there, and uh, you should be on the chat window, the chat right now. She just said hello. <laughs> Uh, and please feel free at any time or at the end of the webinar just to reach out to us at the right at sendable.com. Uh, we can share more information. We've got some really useful content about Google My Business we can share with you uh, and you know, best practices and, and that kind of thing. Uh, we have a, a giveaway today. So we'll be giving away five of our really popular printed 2018 social media calendars. Uh, they're worth $50 each, um, and it includes 114 events with trending hashtags uh, to help increase exposure for your content on social media. It's been downloaded over 6,000 times, and we're giving away a printed copy for you to put up in your office. Um, so here's, here's one of our um, happy recipients of the calendar from uh, earlier this month. Uh, he actually uh, he won it uh, by kind of submitting his, his uh, review of Sendable. Um, and we have some other feedback that you can read about, so people are loving our calendar. And we'll, we'll be sending this to you. Uh, all you have to do is, if you're not currently a Sendable user, just um, sign up within the next hour, so either during the webinar or towards the end of it, just sign up for a free trial. If you're an existing Sendable user, just visit the please dash review Sendable and leave us a review in the next hour. Once you've done that at any point during the webinar, just type into the chat window, entered, and we'll obviously get in touch with you tomorrow, uh, the five winners. Um, and hopefully send you a calendar. So a really useful calendar. This helps you with hashtags and remembering events like pancakes, et cetera. So just a quick, uh, just a quick walkthrough. So if you can let me know where you guys are joining us from, uh, just in the chat window to make sure everyone can hear me clearly. Um, just put there where, where the city or your, your location. Uh, so we've got Stratford, Stratford, Philadelphia, New York City, well, a lot of uh, different locations, mainly around the US. There's someone from India joining us, from Cape Town, South Africa, Costa Rica, Minneapolis, Scotland, Illinois, well, Nashville. So a lot of you from the States, quite a few from other countries as well, Ontario, another South African, Paris, well, Netherlands. <laughs> so glad you guys are all joining us today, and I hope you get some value from today's webinar. Just some information about me. So for those South Africans, I'm from Cape Town originally. Um, I've been living in the UK for about 12 years. Uh, moved to London in about 2005. Uh, so I'm the founder and CEO of Sendable. Um, obviously, I've been involved since the beginning in developing on social media APIs uh, for almost 10 years now. We've worked with the likes of uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Google, uh, many others over the years. And we, we tend to know the uh, different social networks inside out. 
Sidbo was an early partner with Google on Google Plus. Uh, we were kind of one of the, the launch partners. And now we're one of the earliest adopters of Google My Business. So we're really excited to be able to bring this to you today and just show you how you can take advantage of this exciting new, new product from Google. Uh, Sendable is now used by over 20,000 businesses worldwide. Uh, most of our, our users are based in North America, uh, mainly in the US. Um, this is a, an image of the, the Sendable team, so a few of us. Uh, it's obviously grown quite a bit over the last last few years. Um, but we're, we're a small team of, of passionate individuals. Uh, we focused on helping uh, businesses and agencies be more productive when it comes to managing social media. Um, so yeah, I guess we, we're really focused on being lean and, and small and being able to deliver an amazing service to you guys. Uh, as I said, we're, we're, we're Facebook marketing partners, we're Instagram partners, we're Google partners. We've been recognized as one of the, the top social, uh, top software companies by G2 Crowd. Um, and one of the, one of the fastest growing uh, technology companies in Europe at the moment. So today we're going to be discussing how to bring more customers to your local business. Um, I'm going to unpack that during this webinar. Um, but I, I went, the, the whole thing is, yeah, obviously you all want to get more customers through your doors. Um, and the whole thing here is if you're missing out if you're not using Google Posts right now. So a lot of you don't know, haven't actually been posted to Google My Business pages. Uh, because you're not doing it, I really believe you guys are missing out on a massive opportunity. And I'm going to show you in this webinar uh, the reason why. Um, so what if I told you with Google My Business and Google Posts, you could steal your competitors, customers, and it won't cost you a cent? Uh, that's pretty much what Google Posts allow you to do. Um, just to just to explain our mission at Sendable. So our mission is to give you the right tools to improve your efficiency managing social media so you can focus on growing the business. That's what our ultimate goal is as a company, to help you be more productive, give you more time to focus on actually expanding and growing your, your business. Uh, so because we want to see your company grow, when a new tool like Google My Business and Google Posts comes along, uh, we, we, we jump at the opportunity. So we, we, we jump on it, we make sure it's integrated, we make sure you can use Sendable to publish for your clients or for yourself uh, at any time um, and take advantage of this amazing tool. But as marketers, we all know how quickly new channels get saturated. So when something new comes along, uh, marketers tend to swarm in it, jump it, jump in, jump in, <laughs> and tend to kill that channel very, very quickly. Um, right now, Google Posts is fairly new. It's a really, really good opportunity to get involved early. Um, and I'm going to take you through why. So in the webinar today, I'm going to show you how Google Posts can help grow your business. Uh, why most businesses are not actually using Google Posts, as we saw from the, the poll earlier, and the opportunity for those that are, um, how you can schedule your Google Posts for Sendable, and how to create Google Posts that stand out. Uh, we'll save any questions for the end, so if you just keep adding your questions to the chat window, uh, Rachel will start collating those and we'll kind of get, get to those towards the end of the webinar. So what is Google My Business? Um, I'm sure a lot of you have seen uh, uh, this um, uh, kind of, you know, in, in the search results, you have the business profile, business listing. So what Google My Business is, it's a customizable uh, listing that appears in Google Search and on Google Maps. So if you type in a business name and they have a Google My Business listing, you will see information about that business, including reviews, their location, their contact details, their opening hours, uh, even a link to their menu and to the website. That's pretty much what Google My Business is. So what are Google My Business Posts? So Google My Business Posts is a new feature that's part of Google My Business that allows you to publish content directly to Google search results. Uh, and these posts also appear within Google Maps. So in the image on the left, you can see that that's our Google My Business listing. And at the bottom, you can see a post that I put out yesterday about our webinar. So when, when anyone visits or searches for Sendable, uh, our, our posts will appear within search results, right on Google's uh, obviously search page. Some history about Google My Business. So it was originally used back in 2016 uh, for presidential candidates. Uh, it was a way for them to post their own messages onto Google search results. This is how it was. This is how it was originally intended to be used. Um, and uh, yeah, in March 2016, Google made this available to a select few small businesses to obviously try and pioneer this. Um, 
In March 2017, they extended it to movies, museums, sports teams in the US and Brazil only. Um, and then in June 2017, it was made available to all, all businesses uh, worldwide. So it's still very, very new, not even a year old. Um, but it's obviously not very well known at the moment. So I'm going to show you exactly how to use it and how, how local businesses uh, can utilize Google Posts to get more customers through the door. So that, that's the next thing. How does this actually work? So Google Posts is essentially, it's just like having a sign outside that's seen by more passers by, they have stronger buyer intent. So what that means is you have people who are searching for your competitors, who are looking for possibly location, um, businesses in your location, uh, and you have a chance here to attract them with a Google post. Um, I'll explain exactly how they work shortly. So here's an example. Let's assume you own a local restaurant and it's a Sunday night. Um, you have a happy hour every Sunday from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Currently, this, you only promote this happy hour on your Facebook page and your website. Uh, so you're kind of reaching out to your existing followers and your existing audience. But now a potential diner is maybe traveling or you know, in the area and they're looking for restaurants nearby. Maybe you do Mexican food, they're looking for Mexican restaurants on Google. Uh, luckily, because you post a weekly Google post about your happy hour, um, this diner will then find your listing on Google Maps. Um, among other, uh, obviously, restaurants in the area. So when they see, let's say, five of the restaurants who serve Mexican food, your restaurant will have a, a listing or a Google post that explains your, your happy hour because um, it's a Sunday night. Uh, and this will obviously sway that, that potential diner's decision to come to your restaurant. Um, so if you aren't doing this, obviously, you aren't going to be standing out. If you're, by, by posting uh, Google posts regularly, you have a chance to really attract competitors, uh, sort of uh, customers. So what can you do with Google Posts exactly? So Google Posts allow you to share daily specials or current promotions that encourage new and existing customers to take advantage of your offers. Uh, so let's say you have a special running today. Maybe you, you know, you're a fashion uh, outlet um, and you have some sales, a sale on. You can run that special, you can set it up to expire, or you can have it running on different days, different specials every day of the week. And whenever someone's in the area or they're on Google Maps, those specials will appear right in front of them. You can also promote events um, and tell customers about upcoming happenings at your location or your store. So if you have maybe live music, um, it's a good way to attract people for that particular event or that night because they're seeing your posts within Google search results. You can also showcase your top products and highlight your arrivals. So you might want to have a Google post going out, maybe a different post every day. Uh, and every day there's a different product that you kind of highlight. And maybe it's, it's just getting into summer. Uh, you want to attract people uh, because the timing is right. So you can kind of highlight the products uh, within Google search results and on Google Maps again. And what's really cool is that you can actually create uh, call to actions uh, to help you connect with customers directly. Uh, so your, your CTAs might include a book button, an order online button, um, a buy button, a, a learn more button, a sign up, and a get offer. So you can really drive them to, you know, to take an action when they see that post within Google. Uh, Google Posts, surprisingly, uh, can also have a positive impact on search rankings. So research was carried out by Search Engine Man uh, back in November last year. And they, they ran some tests, um, and they noticed that Google Posts can help search ranking. Uh, so if you regularly post to your Google My Business page, uh, you're very likely to appear higher than other uh, businesses in your, in your area. Um, the rankings that showed maintain themselves for weeks after posting stopped. Um, so if you look at that chart on the right, you can see that uh, uh, local search ranking factors. One of the top uh, search ranking factors is, in fact, Google My Business and having a really active profile on Google My Business. Uh, can help with your, your rankings. Um, so this is, this is obviously ranking highly on Google Maps and, and Google search results for people looking for your kind of business in your, in your location. So I'm going to show you briefly just how to post from within Google My Business directly, especially because a lot of you haven't actually uh, done this before. Um, so when you, go, when you go into your Google My Business account, uh, you'll see a tab on the left uh, called Posts. And obviously, there's a, a new sort of um, label on there showing how new this is. And it's as simple as going in there, uh, writing your post, 
Uh, you can place an image in your post. You can write your, your content. Uh, Google recommends up to 300 words. Uh, obviously, the shorter the better, especially if people are searching. They don't have time to kind of read a long blurb about your particular promotion. Uh, you can also choose to make this post an event. Uh, so you can give it a title, you know, for example, you know, live musician. Uh, and you can also set when this event should expire, when it starts and ends. Uh, you can also choose to include a button, as I showed you earlier. And with each, with each of these buttons, you can have a different link. Um, and these buttons will appear directly on Google when your uh, Google My Business listing appears and your post appear within that listing. So it's as simple as that. You basically just click Publish. You can just preview your posts. Um, and you can also see activities on each of your previous posts. Uh, so things like insights um, and that kind of thing. And you can also edit your existing post by clicking the Edit button. Um, and it's, it's really as simple as just posting a standard update. Um, and if I show you how that looks on, uh, on Sendable, Sendable's uh, listing. So there it is right within Google search results. Uh, if you click on that post, you can see the most recent post, as well as any other posts we've published to our Google My Business page. Uh, so you can see it's a really good way to attract attention uh, from within Google search results directly. So as I said before, I really believe you're missing out if you're not using Google Posts right now. Uh, you really should be doing this. Um, it's really easy now thanks to tools like Sendable. Um, but you know, if you're managing uh, social media for your clients, this is a really good way to kind of have a new revenue stream by offering this to your, your existing clients. Uh, so why is it that most businesses are not yet using Google My Business Posts? What's the reason? Um, so the first thing is there are a few challenges. Obviously, it's still very, very new and not very widely known. The other challenge is that posts expire within seven days. Uh, so everything you post has an expiry date, even if it's uh, not an event. Um, so it's, it's really it's really difficult for businesses to keep on posting when it's all been manual up to this point. You can't automate your, your posting activities. You can't share your posts. Uh, so this makes managing and timing posts a real nightmare, especially if you're an agency and you're trying to do it for multiple clients. It's really not a scalable uh, sort of solution right now. Um, it's really it's always been a manual process going into the one business, publishing your updates, um, and doing it from there. And obviously, as I said, for agencies, it makes it really difficult to offer it to your existing clients um, at scale. Um, so the opportunity is that it is now possible to schedule your posts with tools like Sendable. So Google My Business uh, has given API access to select new providers. And Sendable is one of the first to get access to this. Um, on the right-hand side, you can see how easy it is to now schedule posts uh, from within Sendable. You can set your, your call to action. Uh, from within our, our application directly. Uh, so this makes it really easy for agencies to now offer it as a service to clients. It's a, it's a new revenue stream, um, and it can be done at scale. You just have to connect your clients to your business accounts, and you can start posting. And you know, uh, Because of the issue with expiry, you can now get around that by scheduling your posts. So as soon as one expires, you have another one ready to go out. Um, and because it's such an early uh, tool and feature, uh, you can really get an edge over competitors by getting in now. So I really wouldn't delay. As I said, this can get oversaturated very quickly. Um, so I think you know, it's a really good opportunity to get involved, really. So I'm going to show you how this works within Sendable. Um, it's really simple to set up. So I'm going to just take, uh, take you through the process of connecting your Google My Business account from within the dashboard. So if you're new to Sendable, obviously, you can book a demo and see this in more detail. But essentially, we have a services area where you can connect all your different uh, services that we support. Uh, we now have a Google My Business service. You basically just click on that. It'll ask you to connect your Google My Business accounts. If you're managing it for clients, obviously you'll be able to select whichever account it is that you're managing. First thing you do is you select whichever business account you want to manage, and you choose your location. Uh, and then you click Save. And once you've done that, you've connected your Google My Business account, and you can now post to it. Uh, so if you click Compose, uh, obviously this is where you select your services you want to post to. So I can select my Google My Business account over here. Um, I've actually just taken uh, just taken an example. 
particular page. So this is a um, kind of a, a bakery, and this is the URL. It's called Dandelion Chocolate. So I can um, basically write my, my post for Google My Business. I can then attach an image. So I can just go from the URL, uh, paste in my, my website, and attach my um, particular image. So this is now ready to go to Google, to Google My Business. Uh, I can decide how the link, the uh, links that I post should appear on Google My Business. Um, so that's obviously the link over there. I want this to be a, a buy button. Uh, and I can now schedule this to go out at any time. So I want this to go out tomorrow uh, at the current time. And uh, that's pretty much how you do it. So you can obviously line up your, your posts, uh, write your content, choose your CTA, your call to action, which is how it will appear within Google search results, and hit the schedule button, and your post will go out at the time you decide. So as I said, this is really useful because these posts do expire every seven days. So you can have these lined up to go out every seven days. And just keep your profile uh, active and uh, keep customers coming back and seeing your different specials and promotions and products. Okay, so just some thoughts on the type of content that works on Google My Business. Obviously, Google, Google My Business isn't really a social network. It's a way to kind of publish content that gets people's attention. So some tips for creating a good, a good Google post is to be, uh, be precise. So you want to keep it really short to the point. For example, we have an example of some to post a happy hour, half-price milkshakes from 5 to 6 p.m. every Friday. Really simple to the point, um, and a nice image, uh, and that's pretty much good enough. Uh, try and make it personal as well. So, you know, something that kind of tells you more about the business, what it is that they should be coming in for, why is it suited to them. So, we love families at Mike's and to show our appreciation, kids eat free this weekend. It's a really good opportunity to explain how you stand out from other competitors in your location. And tell your customers what they can do. So, for example, you can say tickets range from $60 to $160 and are available for purchase at the front desk starting at 4 p.m. ESD today. So have a really strong call to action, really clear instructions, and what they can do to kind of um, bring them in and uh, what the next steps are for them. Be timely. So if you're a fashion outlet, as I said, really good to kind of time it with the season. So spring is here, or flip flops now 30% off. That, that works really well on Google My Business. Especially when people are on Google looking for answers and shopping around, really good opportunity to kind of just uh, spark their imagination, get the creativity going, and see if you can get them in the door. And then include any redemption instructions. So again, make it really clear uh, in how, how to purchase um, something. So if you think about how people are using this, they're on their mobile phones all the time. They might be searching for something in the area. If you make it really clear as to what they have to do next, how to redeem any offers you have. Um, that'll make it really easy to get them through the door and um, make a sale when they come in. Um, so we, we've written out a really handy blog post on Google My Business, do's and don'ts. So I, I recommend making a note of this link. So bit.ly slash discover GMB, uh, which shows you exactly how to get started. It gives you more do's and don'ts. These examples of the type of posts that work really well in Google My Business. We also have a more in-depth demo of Sandable on Tuesday. So I just touched the surface and what our product can do and what we can do with Google My Business. So if you just click on bit.ly slash show, uh, show me Sendable, you can actually sign up for that uh, demo right now and book your spot. Um, I believe it's, yeah, it's, it's on Tuesday. Um, you can also get your free Sendable certification if you go to training.sendable.com. So if you consider if you're using a different product right now or you want to kind of offer sendable to the clients, um, I re really recommend taking our free training course. Uh, you, you, so with that, you also get a badge for your website, um, something for your, for your resume, and really good to learn the product inside out and see all the other powerful features we have. Just a reminder of our giveaway. So uh, for non-sendable users, again, what we have to do is start a free trial. Uh, for sendable users, simply leave a review of the webinar um, and just let us know once you've entered. We'll be contacting the, the five winners tomorrow. Um, so you can do that any time before the end of this webinar. And uh, as I said, it's kept it to 30 minutes, but we're going to take questions now. Um, so have plenty of time for questions. So I'm going to go through the questions that are in the chat uh, right now and see if we can make an answer. 
Uh, so I'm going to look at the most voted up questions. Um, so Clara uh, mentioned that we get lots of views, uh, but hardly any clicks. So we do very content offers. Any idea on what type of CTR is typical for this? Um, so I don't have any, obviously because it's quite new, we don't have any data on that right now. Um, but we can obviously get in touch with Google directly and just see what they recommend. Uh, as I said, because we are partners, we can ask them questions on your behalf and uh, try to get back to you after the, after the webinar. Uh, obviously, Rachel's answered the question for Anne um, on the image size specs for posts. Um, so obviously, if you look at that blog post that I shared earlier, um, Discover GMB, the Bitly link, uh, we have all the information you need about the print uh, image sizes and what types of images work. What they suggest is that photos work really well. Uh, so they, they, they advise against taking stock, you know, using stock photos. Rather try to take real photos from the location, you know, they're really personal, um, and, and try try use high quality imagery. Uh, Johanna, I believe, asked, "Is there also a keyword context, uh, context, or only the place?" Um, yeah. So this is obviously if it's if people are searching Google Maps um, for places to eat in the area, uh, your your listing will come up because it's a restaurant, for example. So that they won't necessarily need to have your place; it'll just be based on what they're looking for in your location. Uh, obviously, within Google search results, they would have to have found you um, by typing in your, your company name. Or, you know, uh, Google might recommend you in a listing on Google search results as well. Um, so, Ed, uh, web users who search and come across my post, will they only see the latest post that I post twice per week? Um, so, that they'll see the, the most recent post first. So if you're posting out, your most recent post appears first. Um, but if they obviously click that post, they'll see the other posts that have appeared earlier in the week. Um, does it make sense to post more than once a week? I would say yes, um, because uh, your people are, are coming across your listing all the time. It's a good, good idea to keep it fresh um, and timely. So I would say I, I would say the best thing is to try experiment as well. It obviously, varies depending on the business. But, um, start with more, and then you can obviously reduce it uh, later on. And obviously, uh, I guess the, the key thing here is to try measure it. So if you are offering a discount, try use a discount code that has come from Google My Business uh, from your listing only, and see if you can track those conversions, uh, you can kind of track it back. Is GMB worth more than Google Plus for digital marketing? Yeah, so that article that I mentioned earlier, they actually investigated the um, uh, search results, sorry, the SEO. Uh, so looking at Google Plus and Google My Business and how that affected search results and search rankings. And I found that Google My Business um, for local listings uh, has a better impact than Google Plus uh, yeah, for, your, for your keyword rankings. Uh, so I would highly recommend uh, moving your efforts to Google My Business sooner. Um, obviously, keep doing both, but they say that the, the weighting is higher for Google My Business, especially for local local businesses. Um, Josephine, I think I answered your question. I don't know if you saw what a post looks like from the user side when searching. Um, I can take you through that again. So, uh, let's see. So again, if I just type in our company name, Sendable, uh, this is where the post appears. Unfortunately, because I might not be able to see this on Google Maps, let me just see. I can try. <laughs> uh, but it should appear on Google Maps as well. So I'm just obviously going to type directly. Um, and you can see it over there within Google Maps in the listing. Obviously, because I'm searching for the listing directly, I don't know if you can see this one, but if you have multiple listings of different locations, you'll see those, those listed within, within Google Maps. Um, let's just see any other questions. Well, I'll take the last few questions now if there are any others. Um, you can see Rachel's answered quite a few of the questions in the, uh, in the questions panel already. Um, uh, 
Okay, we're going to run another poll just to see how useful the uh, webinar was for you guys. If uh, you can just let us know what you, what you think. Um, if you'd like us to cover a more in-depth webinar of Google My Business, obviously because a lot of you didn't uh, kind of went aware of Google My Business posts, uh, we can obviously go into more uh, detail in a future webinar. So let us know how useful you found this one, and we can obviously get another one uh, to answer more of your questions. Uh, Ed asked what our thoughts are on why most sendable clients are in the US. Uh, that, that's a good question. Um, I guess sendable has always um, been more popular with, with the US, or I guess North American sort of client base. Um, I'm not sure what the answer, what the reason is. I, I think uh, in the UK it's slightly different um, in terms of how they choose their, their tech products. Um, but I guess we, we obviously launched in the US uh, back when we started. Um, we have a high, kind of a high number of followers over there and fans from the US. And I guess most of our growth has come from word of mouth. Um, uh, Shirley asked if the blog platform matters for these posts, um, or do you post direct to Google? Uh, so it doesn't really matter where you're hosting your content from these links. Um, the key is to obviously get people to click those CTAs and then come through to the website directly. And obviously, from there, you can obviously manage your, uh, your content. Um, I have a question. Uh, can you schedule the same post to hit multiple Google My Businesses for franchises? Uh, yeah, so with Sendable, obviously, if you're managing multiple franchise locations, uh, you'd have to obviously first add them within your Sendable account as a Google My Business listing. Uh, once they're all in there, you can actually put those uh, Google My Business accounts into a, a list within Sendable. And you can post the same content if you wanted to each of those different locations uh, for the franchise. Uh, otherwise, you can obviously uh, customize the content uh, using Sendable's um, uh, content tools. So if you want more information on that, just let us know. And we can obviously put a, a private uh, walkthrough of that to show you the obviously various <coughs> features we have to help franchise businesses manage their publishing at scale. Uh, so we can definitely help you with that one. Uh, Josephine, I think I answered the question about any data and why Google Posts is a good idea. Um, as I mentioned, the Search Engine Land article um, is really useful when they've done research uh, on search rankings and they've actually compared Google Plus and Google My Business. So I highly recommend looking at that article. Uh, if you just search for um, Search Engine Land and Google My Business posting, and you can see all the research that's been done there. Uh, Bill asks, does Google reward you for being involved in as many Google products as possible? Uh, at the moment, that's an unknown. Uh, but obviously, they, they do, especially for local, as I said, um, have, uh, have more weighting on those that are using Google My Business or posting. I mean, obviously, they wouldn't disclose the algorithms there. So it's kind of a matter of just testing it and seeing if it works for you. Sorry, Josephine. Um, I'm not sure what you meant by I'm sorry, search for what? Google My Business and what? Oh, okay, sorry. Um, okay, so if you go into search engine land, um, if you just search, if you visit their website, uh, there's a whole bunch of articles on Google My Business and the research they've done. Um, I, I can possibly share the link with you directly off the webinar. So if you just stick around in the chat, I can share some of those links uh, to that research. Great. Any, any final questions, anything that I haven't answered? Um, we'll obviously get back to you at the end if there are any other questions. But you can feel, feel free to stick around. As things come up, we'll be around for the next 10 minutes on the chat. And we'll be able to answer some of your questions uh, over text. Uh, as I mentioned before, we'll obviously announce the winners of the um, calendars uh, tomorrow. And we'll be sending your calendar in the post. Um, so don't forget to register for a trial or leave us a review. And we'll send that over to you tomorrow.
Great, thank you all for your time today. And uh, as I mentioned, if you want to see another in-depth demo of Sendable, please do, do join our, our free uh, training session on Tuesdays. And um, again, that's just uh, bit.ly slash show me Sendable. Um, otherwise, obviously, we'll take your questions uh, on the chat.